Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. My name is WW Deadman, but you already know that. No, not quick play. The next episode, episode 6, Romantic Clip Tandem No Toenail Clippers. Oh my god. Romantic. Hey there, Donnie is my monocle. How many players are you? Just me. All alone. Exciting. Type in your nomenclature, won't you? Mm, yeah, I won't. Well, I'm not calling you blank. That's ridiculed, Ness. I'm calling you Miorge. It's like George, but with fundamental differences. Excellent. Now let me tell you how to get playful. You'll get a question, and when you gleam the right answer, choose the boutonniere next to it. Yep. There will be a timer counting down, so the more harried your actions, the more money you'll get. Yep. Or revanquish. Okay, guys, let's get ready. Ten seconds. Best fishes. Let's have a fart check. Six. Check. Five. Go to black. Four. Three. In your coffin. <coughs> I am Cookie Masterson, but my good friends call me Christy Yamaguchi. Mm, you don't have good friends, Cookie. Did you want to play alone, or did you get stood up again? I and wanted to play alone. The game is brought to you by Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because the couple that clips together stays together. Uh, toenails. Long answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> I might actually find that Yoke. one. This is really happening. Let's start with To Era is human. Hey, what's going on? The Paleozoic Era, the Cenozoic Era, the Mesozoic Era, or the Proterozoic Era? Cenozoic? The Cenozoic Era is what's been going on geologically for the last 65 million years. Ah, uh, same crap, different epoch. May I introduce Menage a Tub? You know that nursery rhyme, okay. Rub a Dub Dub? What the hell are those no. three men doing in a tub anyway? Sounds like some sort of strange Cialis commercial. Suppose the three men in a tub are floating along in the ocean when they hit a giant iceberg. If their survival rate is the same as the people on the Titanic, who will survive? The what? butcher, the butcher and the baker, the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker, or they'll all die. On the Titanic, about 1,500 people died and just over 700 people survived. So roughly one in three people survived, like the butcher. Just his luck. The butcher survives and all he has to eat is fish. Take a stab at a profound tweet. Because he famously penned the line, brevity is the soul of wit, which author would probably be a fan of Twitter? At Oscar underscore Wild E, at Yogi Berra 8, at the underscore real underscore Twain, or at Shake Dollar Sign Peer? I have no idea, but Oscar Wilde? 140 knows. It was begging to be picked. Shakespeare wrote, Brevity is the soul of wit for Polonius during the second act of Hamlet. <laughs> or as Hamlet is called in tweet speak, Ham. It's time for getting shot with a t-shirt gun. If the mascot for the San Jose Sharks wanted to mirror the feud in West Side Story, what team would he taunt with vicious finger snaps? The Houston Rockets, the New York Jets, the LA Clippers, or the Indiana Pacers? Clippers? Want to see the right answer? The Jets are the rivals to the Sharks in West Side Story. I actually Story. knew so that, but... For a hockey mascot to taunt a football mascot, you can't always predict hate. But for the sake of innocent civilians, hopefully the mindless violence wouldn't escalate to drive-by dancings. You just clipped yourself. <laughs> but you know what can clip yourself and a significant other? A tandem toenail clipper. Just like the one you won from Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because you can't spell cuticle without cute.
Today's wrong answer of the game earns you 4,000 bucks. I have Enjoy. a feeling that this doesn't work. I call this one, close the door, I'm undressing. And hey, it's a dis or dat. Oh, great. Don't have a both. I'm gonna read you a list of seven names. For each one, you need to tell me whether it's the name of a brand of ranch salad dressing or the name of a legal brothel in Nevada. If it's a ranch dressing, press the number one. If it's a Nevada brothel, Press the number two. I have Which no idea about either. On 300 big ones. Get one wrong and I'll strip you of 300. And since you don't seem to be wearing a watch, here. The quicker you answer, the more cash you get in How did you end. know? Stop. The end. Okay, we're off. Hidden Valley Ranch. Cherry Patch Ranch. Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Wishbone Ranch. Chicken Ranch. Annie's Natural. Marie's the two I got backwards. What? The screen the entire time instead of trying to peek at my croutons. And of course, I... this goes for both of these categories. If you smell blue cheese, ask for a refund immediately. That's round one, and you're in pretty good shape for now. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Okay, then, here we go. Say hello to... Show me the Mooney! About how long was Neil Armstrong's historic walk on the moon? As long as it takes to moon someone out your car window. As long as Michael Jackson's moonwalk song, Billie Jean. As long as the Twilight movie, New Moon. <laughs> as long as the 12 hour shift at Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Uh, I'd say around a few minutes. This answer is not your lover. It's just an answer who claimed that it was the one. <laughs> Let me show you something. Neil Armstrong's really? walk on the moon was about two and a half hours long, so if you have long. previews and credits, yeah, it's about that. That is unless you believe the moon landing was also just a cleverly made movie. No. Next, Comfy in Nautica. How many Snuggies would a giant squid need in order to accommodate all of its appendages? Four Snuggies, five four, Snuggies, yeah. eight Snuggies, or ten Snuggies? Okay, four is a good guess. Oh, wait, four, five. I mean, a uh, tentacle-ality. Te technic... Yeah, whatever. Squids have ten works. tentacles. All squids have eight arms plus two longer tentacles. So with two arm holes each, a squid would need five Snuggies. Of course, I only have two arms, but I have five Snuggies just for variety. Oh, didn't chicken take an out of mate? Guess I'll marry eight. Take a good look at Arch, your arch enemy. It's the Oh, great. Okay, it's an order question, which means I'm giving out a thousand dollar bonus to anybody who gets it right. So, put these things in chronological order based on when they first appeared. The St. Louis Arch, the McDonald's Golden Arches, the Archie Comics. And Archie I, again, Golden have no idea what two Golden of those Arches, are. Archie, Golden Arches, Arch Archie, or Archie Arch Golden Arches. I'd say... Way to go, Jughead. Ready for this? Archie was introduced in 1941, the McDonald's Arches in 1962, and the St. Louis Arch was completed in 1965. It's Never all really seen fucking seen old, so why would I care? I'll never be able to pick up another Archie comic book, because I realized I hate to read. Here's a good one. Drill, baby, drill. So with all these ecological disasters happening around the world, you'd think folks would be ready to embrace alternative forms of energy. Not so. <laughs> Which that was 2011. I'm just going to re reiterate that this game came out in 2011.
The sign would you see Don Quixote carrying at an anti-environment rally. Wind turbines can blow me, solar panels aren't very bright, thermal energy leaves me cold, or waves so long to tidal power. Windmills. In Cervantes' novel, Don Quixote thinks windmills are evil, ferocious giants. I think Don Quixote watches too much Fox News. Help me never let me go. Open wide for... It's snowing dogs and dogs. Suppose American Idol's Randy Jackson judged an Iditarod competition. If he were judging a team with the maximum allowable number of dogs, what would he say? Yo, you six dogs a killer! Check it, you eight dogs nailed it! You twelve dogs were hot tonight! Or, listen, you sixteen dogs were dope! Uh, eight? An answer as wrong as Cuba Gooding Jr.'s snow dogs. <laughs> Why didn't you pick this? A musher 16. is allowed to have up to 16 dogs in the Iditarod. At this point, they might as well just add a team of dogs to American Idol's contestant list. Like our intern Kyle here, who auditioned last season. Hey, Kyle! Sing something! If I know that I can find Was that really necessary? Step right up to the jack attack. Okay, if that's how you want it, here's the clue. You have a nice scalp, so stop hiding it. Please take off your headgear when you go indoors. Good luck. Okay. Uh... Baby, who e? Uh, tinfoil hat. I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea what that hat is called. Bandana? Yeah. Who? Who the fuck's Ollie G? Okay, we're done. As I said, I have no idea what that hat is called. I know what Yosemite Sam's freaking hat looks like. I have no fucking clue what it's called. There it is! Well, I promised myself I wouldn't be negative at the end of the game, regardless of the outcome. So, uh, well, you certainly buzzed into questions and you finished the game. Kudos to that. You don't know Jack! Yep. That's a wrap. Donnie, what's happening? All right, give me the hay sign if you're interested in more playage. This week on Racist Doctor. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. <laughs> tried everything. Isn't it obvious? This <laughs> has lupus. But will this be Racist Doctor's last patient? We're gonna have to fire him. Why? He's a terrible racist. But he's an amazing doctor. Don't miss the season finale of Racist no. Doctor. No. Give it to me straight. Just no. Am I gonna live? I promise you I'll do everything in my power to save you so you can keep living your miserable <laughs> life. Uh, thanks? And nothing can prepare you for the shocking final moments. You suffered a pretty severe blow to the head after that last surgery. I think I may be losing my ability to be racist. Racist Doctor.
Wow. What ever okay. happened to Hootie and the Blowfish? Find out tonight. Good. I'll see you for the next episode. Till then, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And until next time, I'm WWE Deadman. Bye.